please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming this is being photoshopped before it gets published, right? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be heavy filters. <laughs> and we're looking <laughs> at you. Think of yes. Series one. Ah, oh, a nice bit of that. That'll be the filter. Great. Right. So hi, I'm Phil. By the way. Hi. <laughs> so if we just start by telling me your names and who you play in the show. I'm Matthew Grove, and I play Josh and Bud. I'm Rhys Taylor, and I play Dwight and Roscoe. And I'm Jackie Pelfred, and I play Rebecca and Joanne. So now tell me a little bit about the show for people who might not have heard of it. Um, so, in a nutshell, the way I've been describing it is uh, 20, 30 years ago, the AIDS epidemic, um, and the this is a very basic version. <laughs> the, um, those that didn't get to say goodbye properly had a quilt created. Um, thousands of patches, and basically that is what's inspired the story. That's like the basic, yeah. basic. I'm sure you could elaborate. Yeah, well, the, the musical is a collection of monologues and songs yeah. um, inspired by stories created in this quilt by their friends and family. Um, and it was a political movement uh, when the governments weren't doing anything about the ec epidemic. It was a way of them showing the scale of, of what happened. Yeah. And I mean, at this point, there's thousands many. and thousands of patches yeah. all over the world. Yeah. There's one in the UK as well as one in the US as well. Yeah. Um, so in this particular show, um, one of our actresses, Elsa, yeah. she's, uh, she comes to the quilt to lay down a patch for her brother. Um, and during the process of the show sees all of the stories kind of come to life um, and, and by the end of it tries to develop the courage to put down her patch for her brother and tell that story. And it's, um, I think that the overriding thing is, is that it breaks down the misconceptions about AIDS mm. because a lot of people think that AIDS only affected the Hispanic community and the gay community and obviously that's not the case. So uh, we relate lots of stories that are about women who contracted it from, you know, haemophilia mm -hmm. or um, passed on through their husbands, through casual sex or drug users. I mean, there we cover yeah. all of those stories, but, um, yeah. but also in, in in funny and joyous ways, mm -hmm. as well as um, with strength and sadness. Well, so, this is the thing. Ultimately, yeah. it's it's a celebration of life more than yeah. oh, isn't it sad everyone died? It's 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 looking at these people yeah. who pass and imagining what their lives were like and yeah. celebrating that, not mm -hmm. grieving, which is what makes it so beautiful. Yeah, I think in reading all of the monologues initially. They're so harrowing and, and yeah. awful to read. And, and I think us as actors couldn't help but really get sucked into that at mm. first. But it was with the help of our director, Brian, and all, all, all of us each, uh, together, um, bringing the joy out of that. And actually, we're presenting the stories of these people's lives mm -hmm. rather than their deaths. And that's a big part of it, obviously, how they died. But um, ultimately, it's them coming back and telling their stories. And some are quite funny as well. They're really, like, yes. Some are really Yes, good. absolutely. Absolutely. So you get your poignant moments, but also hysterical, hysterical yes. people. Yes. Yeah. And, and beautiful music. Oh, really stunning. Really beautiful yeah. music. Mm -hmm. um, and choreography. Yeah, and <laughs> yes. And have any of you seen the show before or knew any of the pieces? I remember when I was in drama school, when I was like 16, I got handed the, the soundtrack, the, the original London Cats recording, mm -hmm. and I didn't know anything about the show, I, I've never seen a production of it, but I, I remember being obsessed by, by the music, and I think it was the first time I'd heard a musical that tackled that subject. Yeah. It was it was just before I'd, I'd gotten Rent, um, so that as well dealt with it, but this one was exclusively about that epidemic and just yeah. Just listening to the stories yeah. through the through the soundtrack, which is beautiful. Yeah, it's very life affirming, mm -hmm. um, and it, although it deals with quite heavy content, um, there's something for everyone to take away from it. And I think in today's times as well, it's nice to be reminded that we should celebrate life despite all the challenges we're facing. Mm -hmm. We have to hold on to each other, and we have to celebrate what we have, and we have to you know, enjoy our lives while we're here. Really, mm. you know, stop worrying so much about things or maybe stop dwelling or, or stop hating. <laughs> actually, you know, give with love. And that's what we want to do, actually, in the show is, is give with love to the audiences. And they seem to be... Yeah, it's a very timely receiving show. Receiving that yeah. know, really well. <laughs> it is yeah. really timely because it's one of those shows that people come out and it gives them a sense of perspective. Yes, 
Definitely. really, and, and kind of brings the best out of people. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like the te most terrible things that happen in the world can bring the best out of humanity. Yeah. And the show also explores the people who, who cared for these people who were afflicted, the friends, the, the family, the loved ones, absolutely. Yeah. All the songs are from the perspective of the people who were left behind. Yeah. And then remembering their loved ones. And some of them had never met before. It was just happened to be, you know, a nurse or, or, or someone who just decided, I'm going to help all these people because nobody else is going to. Mm. Yeah. And how many are in the cast? Sixteen, Six, yeah. all in all. 16. Yeah. Yeah. We, Each one yeah. of us uh, do, do two. About, do Not much. everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. I think That's there's true. three in total that only play one named character. Mm -hmm. But as a cast, we're all everyone else is an ensemble as well. So mm -hmm. we sit around the stage. So we, we never leave for Act One and Two. No. Um, <laughs> so even though you might have like one monologue you're not done yeah. because you're you're always there and you're always present and even if it might just be moving a prop you're doing it with a purpose as a yeah. character in somebody else's scene and then like I said it, it's a very heavy ensemble yeah. even though there's 16 of us you've got two named characters but then you're playing so many different stories in everybody else's story so it's it's busy yeah. it, it's it busy. very busy but the way that Brian has directed it just makes it all flow together oh, yeah. really I mean yeah. during the rehearsal process he was talking about um, stitching the patches together talk about the, the monologues the being stitches. the patches and then yeah. let, let's work on the stitches and, and getting them all together because otherwise yeah. I feel like it could be quite clunky piece it's just yeah. like now it's a monologue now it's a monologue mm. but the way that we've done it and we've been bringing everyone's stories to life by kind of creating these little tableaus and these little, it, it, it does feel like you're evoking someone's memory. Well, going back to your previous mm. question, um, I, I only knew this show as a song cycle. So mm. someone goes up, does their monologue, and then they're gone. And then someone goes up and sings their song, and then they're gone, and you never see them again until the vows. Yeah. The way Brian's directed this is that, I think even in, in one of the re reviews, it says it's not a song cycle, it's not a yeah. play, it's not a musical, yet somehow it's everything as well, because I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the audience must feel the same as me watching on the side. At no point do you think, oh, okay, that person's done. You're, you're so engrossed in everything and then it just moves mm. automatically to the next. And because of the choreography and, and the movement pieces, but also the way it's just that monologue finishes and you snap straight into the next one without, without having that moment to go, oh yes, okay, that person's done with. Mm. Because before you know it, you're, you're engrossed in somebody else's story that involves all these other stories inside of it and as well. we were very lucky we got the most beautiful set Justin Williams did a beautiful job with our set uh, we and you know all the sound that was done by Henry Brennan mm. our lighting I mean we have the most beautiful set mm. to play with and that was the final piece in the puzzle for us because mm. that really aids the telling of the stories and and people are you know it's breathtaking when you arrive and see it it's so simple um, yeah so like, simple oh, and mm. quite stark at times which is reflective of what's happening but in other ways it really reflects the different storylines the lighting particularly so I think even for that alone to see mm. that is beautiful really right. really well done yeah. and it's a joy to stand on it and, and play mm. with it so we have not only fantastic cast members but a really lovely uh, yeah. set as well and stage just a whole creative team I think yeah. actually like yeah, very yeah lucky. absolutely but they've really allowed the stories to speak for themselves, yeah. which is great. The, the set is really simple, but it means that it's not distracting away from anything by yeah. these kind of big set pieces. Or it's just the story and the actors and uh, and, and the way that um, Adam choreographed yeah. it. Yeah. It was very, it very much never wanted it to feel like you're watching choreography, mm. apart from when it's absolutely meant to be. <laughs> but um, even those, the actual choreography, yes. like the dance moments mm. are, in one way, they're slightly obscure from, from nowhere, but then mm. when you realise that you're seeing it through the eyes of the character Judith, the one who's coming to terms with putting down the patch for her brother, mm -hmm. you start to realise that it's it's got to a point where she's, she's seen too much and she needs to snap out of it and she needs something fun, yes. which is where this obscure dance number comes in. And, you're like, and for that reason, it all mm. instantly just makes so much sense. Yeah, absolutely. And the second she's happier after seeing that, she's ready to move on to the next piece mm. and keep growing with yeah. all the stories. But the rest of the way it's choreographed during the whole show, it just feels like human beings up there. So you mm. never feel, feel like, no. oh, I'm watching a musical. You know, you just feel like, oh, I'm watching people and all these, everything is very heavily choreographed, but you wouldn't really tell that. Because um, it's yes. just, absolutely. just flows. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, it's yeah. just being yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> just moving from A to B, and sometimes that's what it, what it needs. Amazing, and how, what do you hope an audience will take away from this show? 
there's a lot that people are going to take away actually i think everyone can take away something a little bit different i mean we've had people in fits of laughter in floods of tears (laughs) at the at the the end we're able to have a lovely celebratory moment and actually see the audience and there are some times where i want to reach out and say are you okay (laughs) and they're like i'm okay yeah Yeah. but it's it's one of those things it's you your heart breaks for for the people this actually happened to yeah. and this that is, it's still it was, happening to. So it was only like 20, 30 years yeah. ago. So we've got people in the audience that it has personally affected, be mm. it they've lived with it themselves mm. or they've lost people. And um, once again, there's um, someone who's come to see one of the first shows tweeted about how um, it, it, this elegy is, or our version is one of the first stories that he's felt so connected to a brother and sister act mm-hmm. um, because it reminded him of his own family. So that alone, like myself and Elsa, were so touched by the fact that mm. he felt the need to let us know how touched he how was. How accurate your yeah. portrayal was. But, yeah. but then you, you, I mean, in the cast, you, we've got people playing punks, angels, queens, like <laughs> li- literally all, all the different types of like we've got a Chelsea boy as well so we've got aspects of everyone we've got a um, woman from South Africa so it really is like sounds so corny but it's a show for the people (laughs) yeah but I think everyone can see themselves represented in one of the characters because everyone's so vastly different but I think it's so important to keep telling these stories Mm. because I think we see in every generation a little bit getting lost every time or at least there being a distance especially within the LGBT community you know you see a lot of younger queer people who are coming into this world yeah. and not really looking back they're only mm. looking forward and not realizing the hardship that happened before and yeah and what and again we, we do say this at the end we make a collection for the make a difference trust mm. and we do tell people at the end you know there's a huge um, misconception that this is a problem of the past and it's not there are more people living with hiv in the uk than ever before so what we're trying to do with this show is, is remind people that this is a problem that's ongoing um, one other small thing from that as well is that we don't have a quilt in the UK. There is a quilt in the States, but we don't have a quilt here to remember people that have been lost from AIDS. So I think it's nice that we have our own little quilt here at the Union Theatre to honour and respect that. Um, but a lot of people at leave say that they learn, they take away a lot of learning, but they take away a lot of joy as well. Mm. Um, and happiness. Mostly, we've just seen tears of happiness. Well, the show ends um, in so a party. So that's joyous, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It, it show ends in a proper party. And yeah. we, we go up and we get the audience. And we celebrate. Party. Celebrate life. Mm-hmm. Celebrate the lives that have gone, but also celebrate the lives that live on. Yeah. Incredible. Um, you've capped it all. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not all sure about the quilt thing. Though. Yeah, oh, there is one. Sure about, there is one in the UK. It's oh, smaller, oh, so oh, just oh, maybe not put that bit in. That. Only because yeah, there wasn't they, until recently um, though. Uh, there wasn't until recently because I know it's a lot smaller, but I know that they did uh, an exhibition yeah. at Westminster <laughs> Abbey. Oh wow, um, really? I think they, they actually laid because I remember like Channel Four did I'm a so series. I'm so happy because I didn't think there was one. Yeah, and they and so sorry. Can we ask that question again? Yeah, can we do that record again? Nobody this died at Stonewall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, every time we talked no. about it, I mm. thought, no, there's just one in the States. Because I said, I think I asked somebody, mm. sorry, this is a side point. Yeah, I asked yeah. Somebody, yeah. Like, chat now. Is it only in the States? Where can I go and see it? And yeah. they're like, no, it's just in the States. And yeah. then, and Because like, I think no, I saw it in, the they did a documentary yeah, they in cha- on Channel 4 when they did their Pride season. Amazing. And they did one about the UK AIDS epidemic and stuff. And they talked about the quilt and they actually laid it out in Westminster Abbey <gasps> on the on the floor. It's not as big. It's not as big. It's in storage now, I believe. I so, need to make inquiries about exactly. that. Exactly. I thought there wasn't <laughs> one. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, but yeah, but people can still add names to they can that add their quilt, quilt. And yeah, absolutely. That's gorgeous. So that, that's the yeah. people who are still um, just either going through this illness or have people who they've lost through it, they can still. Um, contact the, the the quilt charity and add their own I'm patch so still to this that. day. I didn't think we yes, had one. Yes, yeah, there Yay. is. Yay. <laughs> I hope I'm right on that, but yes. My yeah. <laughs> oh, what anyway. we talking about educating gays? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Education mama. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.